How many yeah. Pearl Jam members can you name? Pearl Jam is fabuloso! Freeze rest his head on a pillow made of concrete! Like Five. current members? Five. Yeah. I'm Stalin Gossard. Oh, this is Jeff Amon from Pearl Jam. How's our man Mike McCready on the Fender Stratocaster there? I think you yeah. can name five members of Pearl Jam. Yeah. It's Dave Aberdeen's here. Is there, are they all still the same guys? No, they went through like four different drummers before they landed down now. But does, but does it matter who the drummer is, really? <laughs> can you ever tell the difference? Absolutely. Between drummers? Yes. I can. In fact, so you tell me if Tommy Lee was switched to the Molly Crew with somebody else, you'd be like, eh. And he pulls me into his room, pulls his pants down, and just shits on the fucking floor. He did. He left for a while. I couldn't tell the difference, except that album sucked that he wasn't on. Maybe that was the difference. <laughs> I mean, maybe that was the difference. Maybe that was the difference. <laughs> I mean, other than that, I can't tell well, the difference. It didn't suck because of the drumming, it just, there were shitty songs. Like, well, well, I mean, maybe he added. Who do you think helped write songs? No! Oh, and the one that Vince Neil left. Shitty, I think. Yeah. Vic yeah, Mars, I don't think, uh, ever left. The new lead singer, you're, it wasn't Molly Crew without Vince Neil. <laughs> well, that's the hold that. Uh, that's it. It's the lead singer. I always think, like, when Van Halen, when David Lee Roth left Van Halen, no, no, babe. I love David Lee Roth's next album. Da, 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 da. I didn't, I didn't like Van Halen at all. Babe. No, yeah, it's, I, it's I, the I, singer is the band. No, the singer is not the band. No, he gets all the attention, but unjustifiably un- most times. I get up, baby. Nothing gets me down. The only band that I could tell tell the difference, or I could tell was that band with how the singer was. Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine, when they became Audio Slave, I could tell that was Rage Against the Machine with Chris Cornell. Well, Tom Morello is still... Tom Morello. <laughs> Like he's got style that's like yeah, I can tell that's yeah. Tom Morello. That's about the only guitarist or whatever. Like Van Halen, I guess it's that like kind of piano-ish type keyboard thing they have. That's fucking great. No, it, but I can't was, tell. No, that, that was like without uh, David Lee Roth, I can't tell. Like the when they when they went to uh, what Van Hagar, just for lack of a better term. That is the biggest line of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Mm-hmm. I was excited because I liked Sammy Hagar. That I can't drive fifty five song. Right. That was Drew's favorite song ever. I don't go that far, but I didn't hate Van Hagar. I like Pound Cake. And- Let me show you <laughs> how to make. <laughs> A pound cake. Because like the the Van Halen was always like Eddie and Alex. Mm-hmm. You know that was Van Halen, the drummer the and drummer, the guitarist. The, the guitarist. They're brothers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they even got rid of that Anthony Michael Hall. Hey, he don't even have a license, Lisa. And he, they were Michael the Anthony, same. Yeah. Nobody knows when he left. Hey, well, I mean that's the Anthony movie. Michael Hall. Last year. I was insane for this crazy little eighth grade bitch. That's Michael Anthony. <laughs> Just getting mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hall. Anthony Michael Anthony Michael Hall. Hall. <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall from 16 Candles was in Van Halen. <laughs> he just gained, put on a lot of weight. That's not true at all. Mm. I, uh, 
I enjoyed Michael Anthony. I thought he, I thought it was horrible. Hall? I would not for the woman, man. <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall, you mean? I like it. I like Anthony Michael Hall, and I'm. A, I, I so if, if if Michael Anthony, yes, started his own band, would you be able to pick it out? Like just listen on the radio. Oh, wow, that sounds like Michael Anthony on bass. I, I no. You can't tell somebody on bass. Whoa, dude, Les Claypool. Robert Trulillo. Rocking out. You can tell them, like, you can listen yeah. to just them yeah, licking. I, and like, oh, I, that sounds like a trill. I, yeah. I can't. Well, I will say that I do pay a lot of attention to the bass guitar. All right. I do play bass guitar. I will also say that many people will agree with you. That so, just goes to the lack of appreciation for the instrument though yeah that just means kind of the bass is doing their job a little bit mm, i don't know maybe i think if you hear like john n whistle <laughs> and then listen to like the basses from night ranger like we're fucked <laughs> tell the difference really i would hope so yeah i would hope so too <laughs> nice pull with n whistle though he's from what? Uh, Led Zeppelin, right? No, that was John Paul Jones. Oh, that's right. Shit. I'm bass guitar, John Paul Jones. John Paul Jones. So you named a guy, but you don't even know where he's from. Um, yeah, apparently. The who? The most unattractive thing is to see a man going like that. John Alec Entwistle was an English musician and songwriter who was the bassist for the rock band The Who. Boom, we got it. What did Pete Townsend do wrong. Abort. Carlos Summer here.